this video, I want to talk about sharing your FileMaker solution with a lot of users out on a FileMaker server across the local office network or across the internet. Now this is known in the business as scalability. How well does your FileMaker solution scale up? Now I guess it would be helpful for me to define what is scalable. Well when we talk about scalable solutions we mean that they are successfully used by a large group of individuals. Successfully used means that if a large group of users are using the database and a user tries to perform some sort of action they don't have to wait 30 seconds or a minute or two minutes for the database to respond to their needs. The database solution should have good performance and be fairly snappy. That's the definition of a scalable solution. Now here's the reality of it. Anyone can build a FileMaker solution and throw it together and have it share successfully with 10, 20, or maybe even 30 users. However, Having a FileMaker solution successfully scale to 100 users requires some thought, some skills, and frankly some experience. A number of times over the last 20 years, I've seen people come to me asking for help because they built a solution that they threw together and it worked great with 10 users or 20 users, but when they tried to scale it up to 100 users, it magically quit working and they couldn't understand why this was. And the reason for this is that your FileMaker server only has so much processing power. Think of it like a pie, kind of like a pie chart. Now if you throw a solution together that's inefficient, you might never know that your database takes an eighth of a pie all the time. But your FileMaker server has enough available slices of the pie to give everyone the pieces that they need. But what happens when you need to add more users and you don't have enough pieces of the pie to give them. What you need to do is make an efficient database that takes less attention of the FileMaker server. Think about it. If you had a FileMaker server that could do the same amount of work but didn't require such a big slice of its attention to do it, less of a slice of pie, then you could put a lot of people around on that pie and service all of them very rapidly. And that's the idea behind scalability. How many people can you put on that slice of pie before you have to buy a bigger server? So let's talk about some basic techniques and talk about those in terms of FM starting point. First off, with FM starting point four, we've completely re-engineered the solution using the new custom themes and shared styles as outlined in our 45 minute video that we posted at FileMakerVideos.com. We also did a hugely successful webinar with FileMaker that's also been posted to YouTube that covered the same kinds of content. Because of this, the layouts in FM Starting Point 4 are about twice as efficient as the layouts in FM Starting Point 3. So if you want to know how to make your layouts twice as efficient, you need to watch that video. The second thing you need to do, if at all possible, stay away from calculation fields and stay away from summary fields. And that's what I mean by this. Take a look at this database right here. I have 350,000 records in it and it's not a problem to go through here and work with these records because they're all text and number fields. And if you notice an FM starting point in a lot of places we have spots down at the bottom where totals don't show up automatically. The reason they don't show up automatically is those automatic calculations demand a bigger slice of pie and more attention from both your computer and the FileMaker server. In fact, they demand that attention all the time whether you need that number or not. Say I'm just flipping through here and I don't really need to see that number down at the bottom. Well, if it's set to be automatically calculated by me just coming to the screen right here, FileMaker is going to demand that slice of pie from the server and it's going to set a whole series of events in motion under the hood which is going to drain performance from FileMaker server. Instead, in a number of places in FM starting point we built dedicated buttons which will calculate those totals only when we need them. So I can press the button right here when I want to see updated information over here. I can press this button and I get updated information just like that. It demanded that slice of information just at that moment and the rest of the time it doesn't bother the FileMaker server. Pretty slick. 
So the goal is not to use a calculation field here or a summary field here. This is actually a number field right here that only gets updated when I press a button here that's attached to a script. To make databases at scale really well, you want to make sure to minimize use of calculation fields and summary fields. Minimize the use of sorting in your solution. This is absolutely paramount. If you have portals in places, having the portals set to where they sort with this option right here turned on is potentially the kiss of death for making your solution scalable. And for those of you who've seen large databases, you may have seen these dialogues where you just flip through records and suddenly you'll get this dialog that says sorting, right? And if you're across a wide area network, like an internet connection, where your server maybe is in one state and you're in a different state, that dialog box may be very slow. So you want to stay away from sorting, if at all possible. You can have images in FM starting point. But make sure that you're using the remote container or container fields with external storage. This is super important. Also make sure that your containers are set to be non-interactive, which means that right here, you set your containers for image, JPEG, PNG right here, and you don't set your containers for interactive content. Doing interactive content on your containers while being cool adds a lot of overhead and once again demands more tension from the server and the network connection. So hopefully that gives you an idea about some of the things you can do to improve performance of your FileMaker solution. Minimize the use of calculation fields and summary fields. When you need to get a calculation or a summary, make sure that you actually store that information in a number field that you update with a script. Keep in mind that the use of script triggers is a possibility but those script triggers might fire too often and when the user doesn't really need the information updated. If they fire all the time, that defeats the purpose of limiting the amount of calculations that are occurring. Remember to limit the sorting of the records. Remember when dealing with container data, have the data stored externally or activate external storage of that container. Make sure the container is set for non-interactive use. Additionally, Consult our video on optimizing your solution for WebDirect because that contains critical tips that will help your solution run much faster, not only with WebDirect, but also with FileMaker Go as a client and also with FileMaker Pro as a client. And this is basically the optimization using custom themes and shared styles. And that's a whole separate video just on that topic. As a final note about making your database scalable, Keep in mind that you want to have a halfway decent FileMaker server. Your FileMaker server should be dedicated for the purpose. That means that it shouldn't also be a file server or a print server or an email server. It should be a dedicated machine that is a FileMaker server. It should have at least 8 gigs of memory and probably more memory than that. 16 gigs is typically a good starting spot, especially since memory is so cheap these days. Additionally, a really good investment for your FileMaker server is a solid state drive. This makes a huge difference in the performance of your FileMaker solution. I cannot stress this issue enough. Now, it cannot completely make up for a poorly designed database, but building a database correctly and setting up a FileMaker server with good memory and a solid state drive will go a long ways towards making your solution scalable for 100 users or even more. So that's it for today. I'm Richard Carlton, and I look forward to you emailing me about your scaled database and how big you made it and how many users you have connected to it.